In these six chapters, there's a poetic progression that you may not have noticed. Psalm 36 is the recognition that the world has fallen. 37 is a realization of one's sin. 38 considers the vanity of the world without God. But then 39 displays God as the only one who can forgive sin. And chapter 40 is the joy of salvation for those who believe. And 41 is a picture of a life seeking God and the hope we now have even through trials. But sandwiched in there is one of my favorite verses. It's Psalm 43. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he's done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Now, the reason I love that verse so much is that it reminds me as a worshiper of two things. First, that we are commanded to sing new songs. And second, that worship has an evangelical component to it. Our worship has the ability to point people to Christ and demonstrate the fear of the Lord. What do I mean? I mean, if someone watches you during a worship service, what do they see? What does your level of engagement say about your faith in God? Are you focused on Christ or are you just watching the band, your phone, or the people around you? Then what does your posture say about your trust in God? Do you lift your hands in agreement with the lyrics? Do you clap for the Lord as we are commanded to do? And finally, what does your singing say about God's worth to you? Now, I'm not talking about skill. I'm talking about surrendering your insecurities. I'm talking about using your body as a sacrifice, as a musical instrument unto the Lord. That is a commandment for all of us, no matter of skill level. Our worship is not a show or performance, but make no mistake, the world is watching. And that verse is saying that our singing should literally put the fear of God in those watching. Let this be a reminder that our worship truly reflects our faith, our surrender, and our awe in God. Listen to verse 16 in Psalm 40. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, the Lord is great. Thank you.